Uh, rapid fire questions. What would you be doing if you didn't become a musician? I, I would probably still be doing HVAC. Did you ever get to a point where you seriously considered quitting the music business? I guess outside of when you found out your, your partner was pregnant. No. <laughs> <laughs> what What is your craziest, sweetest, funniest, most memorable fan interaction you've had over the years? Anything that stands out from a fan? Yeah. Um, I can't remember the specific venue, but I do remember um, we we always made it a point back in the day to immediately go to our merch table and meet as many fans as humanly possible. We wanted to be accessible because when we were kids, our idols weren't accessible. You went to the show and the show was over and that was it. Um, but I remember signing autographs and I remember a kid who was a teenager saying, um, there was two incidences actually. And one was uh, a kid was saying he was contemplating suicide blah, blah, blah. He was uh, going through rough patch and one of our songs stopped him from doing that. The other one was another kid, also a teenager saying that him and his dad didn't really have a good relationship his whole childhood. They kind of were drifted apart. And one of our songs they were both fans of and somehow that song, their love of that song made them reconnect. And he was like, and here's my dad and introduced me to his dad. So it was like, that makes you like our music is impacting people. You know what I mean? That's, that'd probably be it. That's amazing. If you could form a super group and you could pick a dream list of musicians, who would you pick? So you'd be on drums, I guess, pick a bass player, a guitarist and a singer. My dream group is the group I'm in, but if I had to pick out a super group, um, I think Ben Burnley would be guitar um, and vocals, bass, Man, maybe Rudy Sarzo, probably, man. He's a legend, and I mean, just, you can't really deny that. Um, that's that. I mean, that three work. <laughs> you're, you're a three piece because Ben can sing and play guitar. Uh, which musician or band were you the biggest fan of before performing with them? So maybe with Saliva, you were on some amazing bills. Uh, any, any bands you were a big fan of before uh, sharing a stage with them? Lots like Corn, Kiss, Aerosmith um stained um i mean all of those big bands of the early 2000s you know um even though some of them came out close to the same time as us we didn't start touring immediately our first single came out and it was like six eight weeks before we started touring so those other singles were out and i'm like i love these bands and what's the biggest concert that you've ever played and what was it like to play to a crowd of that size I want to say, to be honest, that Toronto Skydome WrestleMania might have been the biggest actual at one time crowd that I can remember playing. So it's that arena is 55,000 people, just 55,000. Um, I don't know of another one that had more at it. We played many big ones, but um, like the Kiss Aerosmith tour was sold out every night. But I think those were like 20 to 30,000, you know. I think Toronto Skydome might have been the biggest. And if you add in the live pay-per-views. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't touch that. What is the best live show you've ever seen? So this isn't saliva. It's you as a fan going to see a concert. What's the best concert you've ever seen? Man, Shinedown, Slipknot. Um, the Slipknot show was pretty epic. Um, th those are two of the of the really the biggest ones, I, I would have to say. There's so many, though, not to discredit anyone else, but just rapid firing. Those two probably come straight to mind. Nice. Yeah, I've seen Slipknot uh, three times. They're amazing. And I, I was at a festival in the U.S. and I saw Shinedown. And man, that that singer can sing. Whew. Brent is probably, if not the best, one of, definitely one of the best singers in rock in our time, in our lifetime. Are there any artists or bands that you listen to that would surprise our listeners? So maybe like a guilty pleasure listen. Yeah, man. Um, I try to tell people, like, if you could see my playlist, it's everything from Garth Brooks to Cannibal Corpse, man. I listen to a lot of country. In fact, in my truck, um, when I go and run errands, it's on a country station. I listen to country pop. I don't really see genres. If I hear a song that grabs me, I like that song, you know? So... Um, Taylor Swift, 
Jelly Roll is really huge in my playlist right now. But I'm, yeah, I mean, I, I like a lot of country, a lot of pop, rap, everything. If it, if it grabs me, I'm, I'm in. I think you just covered the absolute widest spectrum. When you say Garth, the cannibal corpse, I think that's as wide extremes as you can go. Yeah. Do you have a million dollar idea that you're sitting on? And if so, can you give us a little hint at what it is? I mean, I don't, man. Uh, win the win the Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad yeah. idea. Um, if if you could sit down for a conversation with anybody, who would it be? Alive or dead? I, or I guess it could be either. Yeah. Man, Jim Morrison would be pretty epic to be able to sit down. He was such a unique, you know, personality. Um, just rapid firing. I guess that would probably be my first choice. Yeah, unique and talented, and I I'm sure he'd have stories for days. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is your biggest fear? So these are our three final rapid-fire questions. Heights. I'm completely petrified of heights. Fear of heights. All right. Uh, what are things outside of music that bring you joy? Family and my my dogs. I and, guess that I'm, I'm pretty simple type of dude. I don't really do too much crazy stuff, man. I like to travel. I love my family and my dogs and then music, you know. All you need is family, dogs, and a new pair of socks. And, and That's it. Well, and, socks are important. And you're happy. Uh, final question from the rapid fire section. If you were wrongfully accused and ended up on death row, obviously you didn't do it. You're a nice guy. What would your final death row meal be? So I guess meal, dessert, and drink. That's what we'll give you. What do you choose? Meal, dessert, drink. Lobster, cheesecake, and sweet tea. Wow, that was fast. I feel like uh, you've either been on death row before or you've had someone ask you this question. Who knows? Well, I've had people ask me what my favorite foods are, and it's seafood and Korean food. Those are my top two, um, you know, food. So that one's pretty easy. And cheesecake's my favorite dessert. I'm like... If I see a cheesecake, I, I got to eat a piece of it, you know? 